are you having? Yogurt and cucumber? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's a good mix. Say dada. Dad. What is up guys? It is uh it's Tuesday morning. I'm getting ready to head out to the campus. Um, I'm feeling so much better. Uh, yesterday I had a monster migraine all day. I was I was fighting that, trying to get trying to shake that off. I had um, a lot to do yesterday. I was out and about running a bunch of errands, and uh, yeah, was, migraine was killing me. I took some painkillers a couple times throughout the day, and it just it just wouldn't. It wouldn't go away. Just wanted to talk to you guys, let you guys um, know that I have put out a new program. I was getting a lot of requests on putting together a bench only program to help increase your bench press. And I've been working on it for a little bit, but uh, I just kept pushing it back. But yesterday I gave myself a, uh, a deadline. I wanted to get it done and, and get it up in the store today on Tuesday. But that migraine was killing me, so I didn't even get to train yesterday. I, I had the intention to train later, like 6.37, but I, it wasn't happening. The migraine just had me, like, just dying. So I did get the program done, and I'm excited to get it out there to you guys because I understand how hard it is to get your bench press up. A lot of, a lot of you guys all tell me that you guys have a poverty bench and you want um, some help. And you guys have seen me doing percentages these past um, months. And all that was just my, my own programming. I had it written down. I had plans each week of what I wanted to do. So I actually just was like, what the hell? I took the time to write it all down. And then I put it into a PDF form. And it is, it's more in-depth than my other programs. It, it just doesn't list sets reps. It gives you percentages, and over the weeks, you are the percentages are changing, rep ranges are changing, and that's based on trying to build your strength on the bench press. You're you're acclimating to heavier weight. You're acclimating to lower rep sets, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to put it out there for you guys. It'll really help you increase your bench press. So it is in the store. It's available now. It was, available, it was available this morning, which uh, is Tuesday. You guys will see this uh, on Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Here is the link to my store. I'll also put it in the description box. I have it listed for $14.99, and uh, it's a PDF, so be sure to put your email in correctly, and you also get a download link in the same screen after you purchase it. For you guys that already purchased it, big thank you. Um, there was an overwhelming amount of, of purchases this morning and I am very grateful and I am just blessed to have all your guys' support. And I wanted to give back with this type of program to help you guys. Um, you guys see my bench going up and that's just based on you know my experience, my, my trial and error throughout the years, what's worked for me and what's not worked for me. And it's all in this program and I call it uh, Bench More. Bench more with uh, the online coach. You guys purchase it, and you guys are going through the workouts, and you're on Instagram. Use the hashtag uh, Bench More with TLC. Have you guys ever fallen asleep before you could plug your phone in to charge? Horrible! I did that last night. I passed out. I'm not complaining. I guess you know I was tired from that migraine. It killed me, but. Woke up and my phone was like at 15%. Did not plug it in. And I'm usually, I'm very anal about plugging in all my electronics that I use every day. So open up a package. It's from uh, Julian Rosso. And there's a note. And I started reading a little bit of it, but I wanted to read it with you guys. Julian, I hope you don't mind me reading it, but just the first sentence, it was... Uh, it was already sounding very inspiring and motivating. And there's a shirt. Rosso. Last name with a guitar. So I'm assuming that he's a mu uh, musician. It says, Dear Raymond, you inspire more people than you know, not only with fitness, but you inspire me to chase my dream and go after what I love. I started following you because I wanted to become more fit. I'm already getting goosebumps. 
I'm very sensitive, guys. From watching your videos these past few years, I have learned so much, but most of all, you inspired me to, to work hard, set a goal, and grind. I am a songwriter. I'm a singer-songwriter from Baltimore. I have been singing my, my whole life, but decided to make it a career in 2010. This year, back in May, I was awarded the Best Songwriter of the Year at the Maryland Music Awards. I wanted to share this with you because you've played a huge, uh, played a huge role in helping me realize that we can accomplish anything as long as we work for it. I admire you and your story from building your own business and being able to call your career your passion. I wanted to give you a copy of my my new single, "All That I Wanted," and a Rosso shirt as. Thank you for all for all that you do. I wish you all the best. Who knows, maybe one day you'll hear me on the radio. Man, goosebumps. That is inspiring. That is so just touching. Julian, congrats to you and all your success. And thank you for this letter. Sure, you keep on your grind. Keep doing your thing. And I'm just so, so damn happy for you that you have been able to make your passion, create, create yourself with your passion and your passion has become your career and what you do so again congrats and thank you oh and here is his single that he sent me it's uh it's called all that i wanted just by the title i think i'm gonna like it i'm a slow jam uh, kind of guy lyrics i really listen to lyrics it's break time i'm hungry i need a pre-workout and uh i was about to stop my lift but now i guess i'm gonna go eat yeah i threw it out there Andres loves, he loves in and out and habit. I'm like, let's go get some food. <laughs> he was down, of course. I'm taking the wife's X5 because I have my bike right now and I don't feel like uh, throwing all the gear on. I want to eat real quick. Because today, since I missed yesterday with that damn migraine, I'm going to do pretty much an upper day today to catch up. I'm going to do push and pull everything's probably going to be uh minimal probably just going to do the main compounds and one one tricep one bicep i don't know we'll see what are you training today i'm just doing an arm day uh, arm and a little bit of chest the long legs oh because the car seat today to uh, get some micros in. It's green. It has micros, right? And then I went with the teriyaki double char. What'd you get? Double char, grilled onions, raw onions, and lettuce. Nice. We're either going to feel really good or we're going to be really sleepy. <laughs> Probably sleepy. Yo, I had Aztec yesterday when I went even to the doctors. And I, I went back to the campus and I took a 20 minute nap. <laughs> On the couch? Yeah. <laughs> Watching black cats, walking under ladders, staring at my past as the mirror shatters. Stepping on the cracks, racing down a dark street, pacing to my heartbeat, knowing that it doesn't matter. What am I to believe in? As I find it a reason, I ain't here to ease in. I'm a demon and I'm fiending for the fear that's breathing. Why you feel that terror shaking in your bones? I don't need your love. Alright, no plan today. Just working up the 315. Let's see how many, set, how many reps I can get today. Uh, at an RPE like nine, eight and a half, nine. And then the one thing that I wanted to do today was uh, some banded uh, bench press. So probably three sets of 315 and then I'm gonna throw the bands on with the lower weight. Welcome to the feast, I unleash, I'm a motherfucking beast.
try to be less Holding the weight Let go of the stress Then I turn up the bass Till it burn in my chest I stand no in the face Till it turn in the yes See all those superstitions Never gave me what to knock on. Never had no sky So that 3x3 three three was perfect Exactly what I was looking for That's, that's about 88% of my one rep max Now I'm gonna back down the weight Probably 295 And try the red bands the red bands are somewhere around 30 pounds each, uh, but the way that I rig them, it's not. There's no way, no no accurate way unless I had a uh, one of those uh, scales. I'll, I'll be able to tell how heavy it is at lockout, and it could be a way of me overloading and helping my my lockout. But red bands are on. I'm gonna start with 275. I don't know how this is gonna feel. I want three to five reps. But now I'm starving as a walker Can't hold me down, I feel these chains and I'm breaking now Get them off and I won't stop, let me go off right now And show these motherfuckers I'm a That was pretty tough, but it felt good Three was, was my guess of how many reps I was gonna get it, def it felt like, I think 30 pounds each side, 60 pounds at the lockout is pretty accurate. Uh, it feels like exactly three, 335 at the lockout. So when the bar is about this high, it's like about 335. Below that, the, the band doesn't kick in yet. That's, that's how accommodating resistance works. So I'm gonna do uh, three more sets of this. I'm taking about five, five minutes in between each set because uh, these sets are, 315 just smoked me. In the tank with a gray white fearless, taking what I need, and I live by three words, and that's why not me. Uh, didn't want me to have it, did like Shaq, and I came with All right, just an acclimation set with the 120s on dumbbell incline. I hit it for six. Very surprised after all that bench work. So I'm gonna keep it very minimal today since I'm gonna do a full upper body. I just gotta be aware of like how much volume I put in. Probably just gonna do. Three sets of incline, and then do some lateral raises for shoulders, and then I'm gonna do two, one or two back movements, and then buys and tries. The magic flashy, everything I touch straight classic. Try to put me in a box, I smash it. Feel that fire now that's burning in your bones. Never give me anything, I wanna take it on my own. So welcome to the feast, I unleash. I'm a motherfucking. kind of slowed it down in my head, stayed tight, focused on really staying tight at the bottom, and uh, they went up easier. Usually I try to explode off my chest, and I guess it causes me to lose tightness and just lose drive. So try that, try to stay tight. This little guy likes a clown. When, I, when my hair is getting long, when it's like two days before I get a, a weekly haircut, he gets a weekly haircut too, right? You guys seen him last, I think it was the last vlog that I got a haircut? He said, I need a haircut, right? So I told him, your haircut's like 30 minutes fresher than mine. Because he, he's right after my appointment. In the grand scheme of things, he's actually right. So he proves a good point. The Habit Burger has me feeling real good. I, I guess that's the first time I've had like a big meal, high fat, high carb, and had enough time to digest it pre-workout. I think it was like two and a half hours before I started training.
Show me ten. Come on.